It's currently freezing cold in Johannesburg. Excuse the attire. I wanted to share a conversation that I had today with a close friend about the feeling of being powerless and having our power, our control slipping away from us. Um, South Africa has been through some very testing uh, days and it's been amazing to see communities pulled together and people working to address the devastation. We have plans and things happen and those plans get either wiped out or get uh, put on hold. And sometimes they are plans for things that are very, very, very serious. Health, success, one's business, one's livelihood, one's peace of mind. And what I wanted to share with you guys is, and why I wanted to share this story, is it's something that's had quite a profound effect on me. And one of the values that I found in how I've chosen to live my life in sobriety, in recovery, but also sharing what I've been through and sharing some very, very deep, tr difficult things with people is the fact that I see the incredible value that it gives them. And uh, speaking about the abuse that I've suffered as a child, the challenges I, I went through, even from a learning disability through to the, the other challenges. Um, and by the way, I don't believe in learning disabilities. There's another video. I, I believe in teaching system disabilities because I, I, I didn't have a learning disability. I just didn't know how to get information into my head. Anyway, I digress. I want June this year, beginning of June, I plan to go down to Natal to visit my friends in Umschlange and spend a week there. The idea was just to rest and recuperate and to recharge, to clear my thoughts, because within the business, we, we're putting in about 18 hours a day on average. My team is working incredibly hard. I'm working incredibly hard. And we, I've been traveling a lot less. Traveling and getting away is something that I was able to use to deal with uh, the, my stress and anxiety because I had my training and I had uh, travel. Those were the things. Um, didn't have alcohol or drugs or anything that um, I, I'd used previously. And I had to find a new way to allow my body to rest, recuperate and regenerate. And that's the value of travel is you are out of your existing space. You're out of your current space. You're able to clear your head a lot easier than you are in the same four walls. And that has a whole new meaning for me, uh, given what, uh, what I have experienced this past month. So went down to uh, Natal and I was there for a day. And I got a phone call to say, look, two of the people um, that I had trained had tested positive. It was a first person contact. I was with them for the duration of the training session, which was over an hour. And uh, I was wearing my mask and um, I, I should isolate. Those are the requirements. And we, we are responsible and we understand that our actions, particularly with disease, have a direct um, effect on others and those around us. So I made the decision that night to come back to Johannesburg because I didn't want to have to isolate in Natal if I did get sick. And then I wouldn't have the, the support structure and the resources around me. So I came back to Johannesburg and I isolated for 14 days. Um, I still worked. I saw my clients online. And um, my coach went out to see our on-site clients, um, pr primarily the rehab centers that we work at. After that, I got notification. My second vaccine date had come through. And there was four days away, I think. And I said, right, okay, I'm going to isolate because I don't want to have a chance of getting sick uh, prior to the vaccine and then having to delay it which I did, and then I had my vaccine, and it wiped me for another week. Effectively, I was on my own inside 
for nearly a month, just under a month. And it started to, it started out fun and it started to really affect me negatively. And I was listening to what was going on inside of me emotionally, mentally, physically. I wasn't getting out into the sun and uh, so I didn't get my vitamin D and I didn't get my light. And that was rough because for me, the ability to get out and clear my head was, was taken away from me and there was nothing I could do about it. I worked out that um, then I, when I started to go back out into the to see clients and third wave and distancing in a four to five week period, five weeks, I was out of the house for 16 hours in total. And this really hit me hard. And I was chatting to my friend today who's in Natal, amazing person, Shlomo Weiner. He runs the Chabad down there. And we're saying, you know, I really wanted to go down to the coast. I needed it. My, my, my brain is foggy. I'm not firing on all the cylinders that I should. You know, I'm telling you guys exactly what's happening within my life because it's important that we share this type of thing so we understand that when we're going through it, we're not alone. So after six and a half minutes of talking, I'm coming to the point. And it was very challenging because I was planning to go down this weekend. And we were looking forward to a bra and I'd left my meat there and hanging out and spending time and having a couple of days in the sun and the ability to spend time on the beach and maybe even stay for a week. And there was like, sure, okay, you know, I've been, it's been a rough 18 months and then a very challenging month being locked inside my four walls and which I'm very grateful for because I have a big, beautiful apartment and but they still started to close in and I started to get very stressed and um, very down. And what happened was that opportunity was taken away. We had the unrest and the looting and the destruction of factories and now there is a major sulfur spill into the rivers in Natal uh, in the Mshlanga area and the beaches are closed and there's the wildlife has been very badly affected there's dead fish and crayfish and crabs and the smell and you you're not even allowed on the beach even with everything that's going on i still would have found an opportune way to go down but now that's that's not even an option and i sat thinking like come on you know, it's like I delayed, delayed, delayed. You're waiting for, I think December was the last time I was away for any substantial amount of time. And I need to get away because it helps me with my business. It helps me plan. It helps me think. Helps me come up with ideas. You know, my last trip was down for my birthday, but that was in and out literally for two days. And it was intense and it was an amazing experience, but it wasn't a chance to relax. So now what am I going to do? And then I, in, in this conversation, I realized, and that's the point I wanted to share with you guys. I may not be able to go now. I may really want to go now. I may be living with the anxiety, anxiety, I think as many of us are, that someone close to me, God forbid, could get sick. I could get sick. I could die. I may not be able to get down to the coast ever again. You know, these are the thoughts that are building up. Like th this world that we find ourselves in is a, is a very serious reality. But I can't control that. I can't control if I'm going to get sick or not. I can't control if I'm going to be around in a month's time or a week's time or not. I, I, I can be responsible. <laughs> and um, but what I can control is my understanding that I can control certain things around me. I can control the fact that when we are able to, I will go. I can control the fact that when the, the wave subsides and it's safe to do so 
and the sea has cleared up and in a, maybe in three or four or five months time I can go. We have gotten so far in our lives and we have struggled so much. All of us have struggled and pushed and not gotten, not gotten results and outcomes that we wanted, that we needed, that we desperately worked for and desperately, desperately needed. We haven't got them. But what we have got is the skill set that got us towards them in the first place. What we have got is the experience and the understanding. Every challenge that we faced, every fight that we've gone through, every battle that we fought just to get through the day has empowered us, it's upskilled us, and it's given us what we need to get through tomorrow. The fact we've survived today means that we're going to be able to get through tomorrow because we're going to start tomorrow with the skills that we gained today. We started today with the skills we gained yesterday. And that's an incredibly powerful thing. When you stop for a moment and you take a breath and you look at yourself and you know, I've been stuck inside for so long. I haven't been able to travel. That's, but you know what? I haven't been able to travel nearly properly for 18 months. How have I survived? How have I not gone mad? That's a, a debatable question. <laughs> I've gained a skill set. I've gained new experiences. I've gained deeper understanding into myself. I've gained deeper knowledge of myself. I've, I've gained more self-worth, more self-value, more self-respect just in the fact that I've survived. You have made it to today, you, to this moment, to this flipping moment that you're listening to this podcast or watching this video right now. You owe yourself a huge amount of respect and a big pat on the back because you've made it this far. The pain and the struggle the, the unwanted or unexpected outcomes of where we, where we find ourselves, not being able to travel, not being able to keep our businesses afloat, God forbid, or worse. We've gotten this far. And they, those events have taught us. They've given us lessons. They've given us depth of understanding they've given us skills and please god this will all be relatively over soon or even if it's not we understood we've made it 18 months into this thing and we found a new way to live even if it's incredibly challenging we're getting through each and every day so we may not be able to control what's coming but we can control the understanding and the respect that we give ourselves in understanding we've made it this far. You've made it this far. I have made it this far. Three, a year ago, can you imagine? <laughs> Just thinking we would be here six months ago, a week ago, ten day, two weeks ago. It's crazy. That, but I'm speaking, you know, like there's flooding in Europe, there's there's chaos in South Africa, there's or everything that's happening on top of everything that's happening and on top of everything that's happening. You've made it this far. You have the skills, the experience, and the understanding. And more than you've ever had before in your life. You have more of that right now because you've made it through today. You are wiser, smarter, more experienced today than you were yesterday and then you were the day before and then you were the day before. So understand that. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself a hug. Tell yourself you're proud of yourself and you're grateful that you were able to get yourself so far. And all you have to do is get through today. And when tomorrow starts, we get through that day. And the next day, we get through. But we don't worry about tomorrow. We worry about today. We can plan for tomorrow. But the only thing we can affect, the only place we can apply those skills, 
understanding and experience is today. I love you guys. I'm proud of you guys. I'm grateful for you guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for affording me this opportunity to share what I've learned, what I've gone through with you guys. Because when I share with you, I gain greater clarity. I gain greater insight into myself. And I hope this has helped you in some small way. Please feel free to share it with your loved ones, people you care about. Do that whole social media thing. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Have an amazing day, guys. I love you all. Oos.